Hello everybody, this is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I am opening the other half of the Goodwill blue box, repurpose box that I started opening day before yesterday. I fully intended to come back yesterday and open the rest of this, but it was a heck of a day. And if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you will know that I rolled my van into my garage door. So the title on this one is Baby Needs a New Garage Door. You're looking at baby. She needs a new garage door. So uh, I wanted to share that story because it was embarrassing, but real. And we were talking about all the insomnia stuff in the last video. And so I think that's a huge contributor that just my senses were. <sighs> Plus, wait, I got it, had to get a new van. It's been a year. I had to get a new van at the end of last year. And it doesn't have like a gear shifty thing, you know, like to put it in park and whatnot. It's like buttons. And I don't think I like it at all. So anyway, that's, I'm just like, uh, this is probably going to be another chatty one. And I know some people don't like that. So fair warning up front. If this is not your jam, then I've got other videos where the camera's down and it's just me and jewelry and you and nothing else, but maybe some singing. But anyway, <laughs> Here we are. I was sitting here. I was clearly stalling because I'm like, I'm just going to put on all the jewelry and put it all over me. And now I just want to take it all off. Um, so I put, these were a couple of the, the pieces from the last, the first half, I should say, of this jewelry that we started. So I was like, I'm going to showcase some of the pieces and voila them. And voila them. These were not. These were in, in, over in my, here, in my workroom. I got to take this off, y'all. I got to take it off. I can't. I just can't. I want to focus. But hi, everybody in the chat. Thanks for coming in. If you are, I shouldn't have done this. I sure hope I, I shaved my armpits. That's all I'm thinking about, really. Oh, gracious. Now I can't get the back of this. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I should give you a topic. I really can't get it off. Oh, great. <laughs> Hello again, everybody. Oh, can you believe this? Here, I'm going to turn it around. I shouldn't have even tr tried to put this on because now I'm trying to take it off backwards. Um, okay. Now we're going to be quiet for just a second while I try to focus. Can y'all see the edge of it? Help me. <laughs> there, wait. I think I got it. I did it. Woo! <sighs> okay. There we go. That's better. <laughs> so, hi, hi, everybody. Thanks for being here in the chat. That was awfully fun, right? Watching me try to take off a necklace. Anyway, hello from the UK. Hi, Susan. Uh, I can't believe I did it. I, I was so upset with myself. I can't believe I, 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 I'm just glad it wasn't another car or a person or something. So now I'm like making sure I put the parking brake on before. Plus, like, I'm not a big fan of like the, the push button starts. This is the first time I've ever had a car like that too. So it's all these buttons. And even if I push the button to stop the car, the radio doesn't turn off. So it's super confusing to me. <laughs> I just need public transport, I think. So, so yeah, very <laughs> embarrassing. But it happens, and I'm so glad I shared it because lots of other people, hi, Chrissy. Lots of other people um, were sharing, oh, I've done that. I've done that from the inside out. I've backed out of my garage. That would be me. I don't, I don't park in the garage, but that would be totally be me. <laughs> like, backing out of the garage without um opening the garage door oh brother anyway garage door repairman is scheduled to come so that'll be good <laughs> i can't believe i did it ah at least you didn't roll down your sister's yard into a tree yeah i mean oh brother oh you like that yeah these are some of the rings from the last video and i will i do want to say like i have some had some people message me about items from the last video to purchase. So if you ever see something that you're interested in, if you're wait if you if you're waiting for me to list it, it might take a long 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 time. So just message me. <laughs> or if you do my some sometimes friends that are in my that do the Patreon jewelry box, if you do the um mystery box for me every month, then sometimes you'll say, "Hey, if it's not like a like something I'm planning on selling for big big money, be like, "Hey, wait, throw that in my in my mystery box this week." or this month, whatever, you know, I've done that too. I was like, uh, can you put that in my mystery box? That's one of my surprise things. So anyway, <laughs> if you are, let me know. And if you have questions about that, also let me know. 
Okay. I feel very scatterbrained again, but truly this, okay. Insomnia is not what I thought it was going to be. Like I fall asleep for short bursts and then I'm awake and then I'm asleep. And then I'm, it's like, I never get that full sleep cycle, I think. So anyway, let's move it on. <laughs> oh, yay. Sundays you're listing, is, listing and watch. Oh, good, good. I need to do some listing big time, big time. Okay. Let's start with this, which initially you'd think, oh, it's just like a clear plastic bracelet. It's got this silver kind of like foil lining on the inside. But look, it's got some words. So let's take it down to the treasure cam, shall we? Follow me. Wait, wrong way. Follow me. There. I still have our penguin from last time. What does it say? Oh, something with Mark, oh, J Mark Jacobs for Mark. Mark. This is very confusing. Mark by Mark Jacobs by Mark Jacobs for Mark by Mark. Okay, so it'd be like Margaret's doing something for Margaret in collaboration with Margaret. Mark Jacobs. Mark Jacobs in collaboration with Mark Jacobs for Mark Jacobs by Mark Jacobs in collaboration with guess who? Mark Jacobs. So <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. I'm definitely going to have to look that one up because th that's funny to me. <laughs> Texas Gal Treasures in collaboration with Texas Gal Treasures. Um, <laughs> unless I'm missing something, y'all, because clearly my brains are not clicking in the right directions always right now. <sighs> Tonight will be a better night. I, that's what I'm. I take it that's Mark Jacobs. Exactly. I don't know. Have you guys heard of this brand before? Like, I don't know, Mark Jacobs, maybe? Um, okay, next up. Oh, that's got a price sticker on it. Boop. Let's peel that off. Next up, we've got this necklace that has these glass, clear glass beads. And then these look like prayer beads almost, like these barrels, you know? It's like from, do you, do you remember the movie Golden Child? Ah, 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 want the knife, the prayer wheels, remember? <laughs> um, anyway, that's been a long time. I haven't seen that movie. So it looks like little prayer wheels. And yeah, it's cool. They are resin, I believe. And then those are glass beads. So that's fun. I might try to sell that one. That's pretty cool. It's a little, not super chunky, but chunky-ish. Oh yeah, <laughs> you got all the jewelry toys. It's like a mad, yeah, it is like being a mad scientist. <laughs> yes. Um, oh yeah, I hope I do get some bonus buns for the garage door. I'm so embarrassed by that. I really hope it's not expensive. Uh, hopefully not. Oops, something fell. Hang on, I'm going after it. <laughs> I haven't seen Golden Child in a long time. That one, you know what else is the one we haven't seen in a long time? Big Trouble in Little China. Speaking of that, I was just trying to think of another Kurt Russell movie for my kids to watch because we watched, we watched Tombstone the other day. And I think we talked about that in the other video. Oh, this is interesting. Um, and I was like, what else has Kurt Russell been in that? That Cause my kids were like, he was really a good actor. That Wyatt Earp. Like, yeah, big trouble in little China is going to blow their mind. I think. Okay. So here we've got this beaded bracelet. It's got a little heart charm down here. It's got a Cupid hanging out there, but then check this out. It's got a tag that's, uh, it's trying to say Tiffany and company. Let's look at, at it closer, shall we? Okay. Uh, oh, now it's upside down. So here we've got, please return to Tiffany and Co. New York. What are your thoughts on this, people? I can tell you my thoughts <clears throat> on whether or not this is authentic. I don't think so. <laughs> when in doubt, it's, I mean, first of all, it's extra super magnetic. And I don't know that Tiffany does things that are just like silver tone. I'm pretty sure it's, it really doesn't want to get off of that. <clears throat> but it's cute. I mean, it's a cute bracelet. It's totally fake. I mean, it would be worth probably selling just by taking that. I because I couldn't sell a fake Tiffany bracelet. Maybe somebody just had that and stuck it on there. I mean, clearly it's 
But other than that, it's a cute bracelet. Just take that off. I could move the cupid to the other end and have a heart on one end and the cupid on the other. So there's that. Oh, Susan, thank you so much for the super sticker. Now I need to give you a super sticker. Let's see. Ooh, what are we going to do? I need to put some new ones on here. How about some pushing? Some pushing love. My kids are super, one of my kids in particular is super into pushing right now or has been. Thank you so much for that. That's going towards my garage door. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh gosh. Can you believe it? I'll feel better. I, it makes me feel better when I hear other people saying, oh, I've done that. So hopefully it makes you feel better too. Do you think I should test this charm? I don't. I mean, the charm isn't even, let's do just the charm. I mean, the charm is not magnetic, but I don't think I can test it though. I mean, it doesn't hurt to test it. I doubt it, but you never know. Uh, oh, did you hear my cat meow? Pancake's going to be mad because Lay is in his spot. Pancake likes to sit right behind. There he goes. Here comes the cat fight. He likes to sit right behind the computer because the window's right there. And he'll sit in the sun. But right now, Leia is there. And now we're going to we'll see what happens because there's only like this much space. For, and they both can't fit there. But he's going to try. Okay, so this one is broken. That'll go to a craft lot. Yep, he's laying down. He's going to try to force her out. Oh, brother. Cats. Cats. All right, next up is... Okay, help. What are your thoughts? This is... Is it a belt? I mean, that looks like a hair rubber band thing. Maybe it, you... It's too big. I was like, maybe it was like a hair. No. I don't know. <laughs> My brain isn't thinking about what this might be. Maybe it was a belt that you would have to pull on over, but then that's not going over the girls. Or if you're small enough to pull it up. Or if it really was a hair rubber band thing and that just got sprung big time. It's huge, though, for a hair deal. I don't even want to put it on my head, but I will. Like, it would go like that, and then you would have to have a much smaller, I don't like it on my head, um, <laughs> a much, this part. Okay. Well, I'll put that in a craft lot. Somebody can figure figure it out. Okay. Um, <clears throat> do, do, do. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Hello, Resale Therapy. I'm sorry I'm missing some people in the chat. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. All right, we've got a little red metal bangle. That'll go to a lot. I can't remember if I have this sitting over here with my solo earrings from the last one. I like this one. I, I get bracelets like this from time to time. And frequently, I put them in a lot. But I might try to sell this one only because of the coloring. It's got those, like, peacocky colors, jewel tone. And I think someone might like that. So I'm going to look that up. That one might be one I try to sell. Oh, boy. Saucy tassel, sassy, saucy tassel. It's kind of a dirty tassel. It's not quite sassy, but I'll finish it out. This is my saucy, saucy tassel song. Some I've seen videos of people, like, fixing them and making them not, not so nasty. This one is pretty. I mean, it's not as bad as it could be. But, oh, gosh. Huh? Is the maid in there? Oh, it is. I can tell. It's bright. Ta-da! I'm going to put this in a craft lot because somebody might. Look at that. I just don't even know. Somebody was like, you know what? You know what we should do? We're going to take some orange string, and then we're going to put these like weird orange uh, leaves. Pancake. Anyway, okay. Hello, everybody. Okay, next up, I have some solo earrings here that I'm waiting on. I'm finding the mate for. Sorry, hang on. I can't touch my eye, but. Then we've got this dyed shell necklace. And, I mean, it's okay, but it'll probably go to a lot as well. They are sassy, right? <laughs> oh, it's not, is it a, is it a jewelry unboxing if we haven't sang sassy tassels? There's another one. Here comes another sassy tassel. Maybe. Okay, solo earring. Oh, there's a clippy. Some kind of 
Oh, there we go. Sassy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. This is my sassy, sassy tassel song. It's harder to do upright. There we go. That's actually kind of pretty with the bluey colors. See, it's not quite sea foam. What would you call that color blue? Turquoisey blue, but not quite turquoisey blue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't get to come on yesterday, Heather. I don't know if you, uh, yeah, this morning. Uh, no, yesterday I had a, my garage door picked a fight with me. We'll just put it that way. Definitely picked a fight with me. Okay, then we've got this little clippy. It's magnetic. What is this for, do you think? I mean, I don't quite know. I'm going to set it to the side. I don't think it's an earring because that would be weird, wouldn't it? Maybe it is. Let's find out. Will it magnetize through my ear? I guess it will. Oh, I could wear it as an ear clip. But do you really think that's what that's for? I can look like I want to have my cartilage pierced, but I don't really. I could wear it as a nose ring. How well would you feel if I put this at my nose? Would you lose all respect for me? I'm going to wait. I'll do it later. <laughs> Pancake, quit it. He's grabbing stuff. Then... We've got a little stick pin, and it says orange with a little orange sun for the O. That's cute. I'm going to have to look that up. I don't know what that's all about. Um, <laughs> no, don't do it. That just makes me want to do it even more. <laughs> I can't say that it's clean because it came out of this bag, and it would definitely not be clean when it, once it came out of my nose. <laughs> then we've got another lapel pin, a little open work heart. That's cute. I should be test checking these, but I have a feeling, you know, they're not. Anyway. <laughs> All right, solo earrings, solo earrings. Okay, here's a little, like, tennis bracelet. That's pretty. It's one of those that the they kind of collapse on each other. Let me get the treasure cam rolling. We can look at it closer. So it's one of these, like, why do they do that? And then they kind of go in on each other like so. I guess if you needed it shorter or longer. Um, but yeah, this one's just like costume jewelry. It's not anything super fancy. It's cute though, it's really cute. But I'll probably just put it in a lot because I don't think I'll sell it. That's fine. Then I'll put this over here too since we're already down here. It's just a little silver tone characters that may or may not be actual words. So that will go into a lot as well. All right. We haven't gotten as much out of this one yet that I'm going to sell, but that's okay. We have Mark Jacobs by Mark Jacobs. Uh, another little bangle. If there are more like this, I could sell as a stacking lot, but we'll see. I'll put this to the side. How are y'all doing today? It's a nice Sunday where I am. Hopefully it's nice for you as well. All right, then we've got this circle pin with these little faux pearls, but it's missing one. It might be at the bottom of the box. And so if so, I'll just glue it back in. Pancake, stop it. He's bumping everything. Okay. Mm, yeah, I mean, that's sweet. Somebody would like that. That's a sweet one. Snowing, snowing. Ooh. I really hope the mate for this one is there. Look at this earring. This is, it looks like it's more, it should be two earrings in one, but it's not. This is one earring of, uh, uh, it's quite an earring. I just, it's got purple, it's got coral. It's got orange and blue. Well, they're actually saying it might snow here again this week, later this week. Look at that. Wow. I mean, that is a showstopper right there. I the mates in there. That's pretty awesome. Gaudy fabulous, right? Yeah, we need to find a word to make that. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> How can we combine that to make it? Urgh. <laughs> Okay, somebody made this, but it feels like an old sock. Like it's curled up, you know, like somebody crocheted it. Or is it knitted? That's knitted. 
I can see your knits and pearls. Um, and somebody knitted this with some beads in it and a button on the end. And they thought, this is a really good idea. And I don't, I, I don't like how it feels. It's fabric. I don't like dirty fabric. So that's going over there. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, 75 and sunny in Phoenix. <laughs> it's pretty nice here today, too. It's maybe in the 60s. It's very. <laughs> yes, gaudy fab. Let's see. So yeah, someone was really bored. <laughs> yeah, some people shouldn't make jewelry. That's, but probably that's what it would look like if I made jewelry. So I can't. I mean, I guess I could criticize, but okay. What do you think? Is this a sellable piece? It probably is. So we've got some beaded pearl beads, some faux pearls, and then we have one that's like fabulous with the sparkles. So this one, it looks like there's a, there's a hang tag, but I don't know if there's a maker's mark on that. Let's look closer. Um, here we go. So here we have the hang tag. And it does have a name. Flip it around. It says, can I read it? Hmm. C A. Does it say carols? Sometimes. See, look, now the light's on the wrong side of it. Darn it. Let me try to refocus. A little higher. Oh, Carol Lee. Haha, uh -huh, now I see it. Carol Lee. And y'all caught it in the chat before me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> y'all got it before me. Carol Lee. Okay, that's a brand I've heard of. Okay, so yeah, I'll check that one out and see what it's worth. I don't think that brand is generally worth a ton, but it's definitely a sellable piece, so that's good. Oh, gracious. I need to get back to the chiropractor. All right, then we've got this little, it's a square, squared off ring, curved square. Mm, probably just going to put that in a lot, missing a stone there. Plunk. Then, one of the other cats, I think. We've got this flat disc. I mean, they have like little... Nick's taken out of the edges of them. Why? Like on purpose. It's like somebody was going to paint them to look like little painter's palettes, but then they forgot to finish it. I mean, I feel like Betty, Betty Rebel or Mar what, what's the other one's name? Wilma. I can't think of the Flintstones. One's Betty and one's Wilma, right? But the one that wears like the rocks is a necklace. It looks like that, but flat rocks. Eh. Let's see. Uh, ooh, okay. Hang on. Got a little. This is interesting. We've got a little ring, twisty, plastic ring. Twisty, twisty. And I think there's words on it. Like so. Let's look closer. Here we go. Going in. Going in for a closer look. Oh, here comes Danny. Well, what do you know? It says Mark Jacobs. And then underneath it, let me see if I can focus it a little better. Oh, I'm not trying to move you. M A R I. Maripol? Mark Jacobs Maripol. I don't know what that means. Okay, we're going to have to look that one up. Wilma Flintstone wore the white rocks. Betty Rebel wore the black ribbon. Okay, the pendant on the black ribbon. Sweet. Okay, I will maybe remember. All right, so we've got another Mark Jacobs for Mark Jacobs piece, and I'll have to look up Maripol. Interesting. Okay, cool. I, I don't know if Mark Jacobs stuff is worth selling, so that's going to be fun to find out. All right. Next, we've got this bracelet. It looks like brass, like a twisty brass 
bracelet. That's pretty cool. It is magnetic. Hmm. Probably going to go to a lot. Yeah. Do y'all know that? Maripol is an artist fashion designer. Okay. I'm going to have, yeah, there's a lot of rings in this one. There were a bunch of rings the other day, and then today more. And there's more at the bottom. I saw them. I saw them. Okay, some earrings. I'm putting my solo earrings here to the side. It's a pendant, so we can, what is this? Oh, gosh. Another example of somebody, I, I want to call it COVID crafting. How about that? Maybe they were, like, bored at home and, like, I'm going to stick a piece of bone through some beads and then a shell and some woven something. <laughs> some woven weeds. And then there, oh yeah, okay, that'll be for a thought. <laughs> the Marc Jacobs may be a gift to fashion show goers. Oh, okay. Marc Jacobs, that ring is selling for 20 and up on Posh. Clarissa, thank you. Wow, okay, sweet. Nice. Okay, then there's this really long chain necklace. That one's going down the valley. And are we silver? This is a very long necklace. It is magnetic. I think I'm going to hang on to it, though, because it's a really, 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 really long. I mean, that's like three feet at least. <laughs> long necklace. So I'm going to hang on to that one for something. Maybe I'll find a cool pendant to go on it. I don't know. <laughs> COVID crashing, yeah. Then we've got this little heart pendant. And once again, this is one of those, remember I was telling you, it looks like it looks like it's supposed to be a stone, but it's really just like metal that's been crimped to look like a stone. That's what that one is, see? It's not really a stone, it just looks like it. So this one, probably just gonna go to a lot as well. If I miss, a question or anything in the chat, y'all let me know, okay? Uh, back over here. This is true! And we have seen Guardians of the Galaxy, too. I'm going to have to remind the kids, that guy, Ego, Ego was his name. I'm a Marvel nerd. Ego was... Oh, that's going to blow their minds. <laughs> that's going to blow their minds. Okay, we got a twisty bracelet. You know, and you're trying to think in the moment. It's like, I can't think of anything in the moment. of that. What else he was in? Overboard. Wait, yeah, he was in Overboard, the original. Okay, so that'll go to a lot. Uh, ooh, okay. Ah, let's hang on. Okay, detangling in the, on the fly, if I can. Do, do, do. I can't think of how the song goes. <laughs> ah, no. All right, here we go. Pulling it through the other way. I've got a brooch hanging on. Now I've got an earring hanging on. There, wait, I got it. Okay. Oh, that's right. He was Santa in, um, wasn't the Santa Claus. Wasn't it Kurt Russell in Overboard with Goldie Hawn? Wasn't he in the original one? Yeah, I think so. There was a new version that came out, but it's not as good, I don't think. So here we've got this one, and it's looking like it wants to be a Kendra Scott, because she always does those geometric shapes like that. Um, and I mean, this is one I'll probably sell. I don't think it's an actual Kendra Scott ear necklace. If it, here, let me go show you down here. So <clears throat> on a lot of Kendra Scott pieces, like on these geometric pieces. I think I've shared this with y'all before. Sometimes it'll be along the edges of, you know, of that. Sometimes it'll be like really teeny on this part, you know. So you really have to look on some of their, on some of her pieces. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So yeah, this is one I probably will sell. That's a cool one. Ah, uh, yeah. Escape from New York. I don't know if that's, Rated, what the rating is on that one for the kids. However, Tombstone was rated R. So, Life Saving Society, Bronze Star. That'll go to a lot. 
then <clears throat> that's pretty cool. This one's a, a cool like I think that would be considered mid-century modern or mm, not exactly your Hollywood Regency style, but it's pretty cool. It does have a little bit of wear, it looks like, as far as the gold tone right there. I wonder, do you think that'll matter too, too much? Maybe it will. Some people won't want it because of that, but somebody might not mind. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see. Isn't the treasure camp fun? I'm loving it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Ooh. All right. Now we're talking, baby. All right. So we've got this bracelet. It's got these leaves and faux pearls. It has a safety chain, which I love. It needs to be reattached. Get around there. So that's easy. That just And it still has the spring ring. And that just needs to be reattached right over there. Cool. It doesn't seem to be missing any pieces. Let's look in the treasure cam for a maker's mark, shall we? I'm opening it up. I guess I should have done this before I flipped it over. All right. Maker's mark, maker's mark, reveal yourself to me. Maker's mark, maker's mark. Who can you be? <laughs> Aha, we found it. Maker's mark is, survey says, if I can get it in the right place, there it is, Trefari. And there's a crown on top, so crown Trefari. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! If only I can re remember all my new songs. <laughs> Hello, Lenny Pie. Oh, yeah, Keanu. <sighs> Dang, <laughs> right? <laughs> Keanu. Mm mm mm. Okay, so that's fun. So that one I will definitely sell. A nice little Trifari piece for sure. Oh, nice. You went down to the Goodwill and got five small jewelry bags. Sweet. My Yeah, the Goodwills here don't have it, but the Savers do. We, one of my kids and I, took a trip to the bins today. I thought, okay, if we get there early enough, maybe it'll be okay. So we did. I'm trying to figure this out as I'm talking. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, a, girl, a girlfriend of mine, th this is the thing. Like, Tom Selleck, I'm not, I'm not aging you, hopefully dating you. My mom was, like, a big Tom Selleck, like, fan. And then a girlfriend of mine, who's, like, m maybe a couple years older than me, loved Tom Selleck. The mustache and the furry chest and, like, the whole shebang. Like he thought he, she thought he was the bee's knees. Well, anyway, funny story. She had a picture of him in her cubicle at work and it was a picture of him like washing a car in some like short white shorts, like 80s style, like all soapy. And, and uh, somebody came by and was like, is that a picture of your husband on her? I'm just like, Oh my gosh, <laughs> Laura. How are you so into Tom Selleck? I don't get it. Anyway, she loves him. Um, that's I need the greatest hit soundtrack. Yeah, I've got to go back and hear hear them all. Listen, see if I can remember them all. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, Magnum PI. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so looking in the chat before I do 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 do. Okay, Talk back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so this is a ring, I think, and it's got the chains. I can't figure this ring out because it goes, uh, I don't know which way the chain is supposed to go. Please let this be for fingers. <laughs> and I'm not, anybody? You had a picture of him in your bathroom, Heather says. <laughs> what is happening with this ring? Is it supposed to be a stacking ring? And then you just have these like chains hanging like weirdly. Like, is it supposed to go like that? Like, don't mind my chains. It's just the look these days. I can't get it to. <sighs> Help. <laughs> is it supposed to be like that? Somehow. Um, Tom is a suit. I bet he is a, a nice person. He seems like he would be. 
Soap. That was a fun movie. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know what the story with this ring is. It just feels very unfinished, or maybe that's the. Yeah, like so. They don't fit on all the fingers, though. That's just the weirdness. They're because they're all the same size. It's to beguile you. I, I don't. I don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's not forget Sean Connery. <laughs> Have y'all? Oh, I, yeah. So who? Okay, who was your favorite Bond? Or who was your favorite Bond girl? So. <laughs> Yeah, this ring is very awkward. Is there a name in there? Okay, let's go look in the treasure cam. I'm not, I mean, Bond. Oh, well, there is a name in there. Maybe if I look it up, it'll help me. Eddie Borgo? Uh, hang on. I'm trying to get my fingers out of the way. Connery was the best. That's what y'all are saying. Borgo. Eddie Borgo. Uh, I don't know that, Eddie Borgo. So they all say that. I'm going to have to look that up because maybe I'll find clues for how I'm supposed to wear this. How I'm supposed to be wearing this. Yeah. Um, yeah, Sean Connery. I I wasn't a... I hate to say, people get very touchy about saying that, that you don't like a certain bond. So I'm like, I'm very... I don't, I don't want to say... And then it's kind of like Doctor Who. The doctors all start growing on you, you know what I mean, as you watch them more. So, but I will tell you a funny story. Do you guys know who Trevor Noah is? He's the host of The Daily Show now, but he does stand-up. And he did a funny stand-up special, and it's on YouTube. You can Google it if you type in Trevor Noah and Sean Connery because he does a whole thing about Idris Elba because they were, they were thinking of having Idris Elba be Bond I don't know if that ever, I don't think that went through. And he was like, it's really, really funny. So anyway, anyway, so yeah, Idris Elba, Trevor Noah, James Bond. Uh, it looks like this is missing a stone. It's a fun little ring though, but it's unfortunate that it's missing a stone. I love Trevor Noah's stand-up is so funny and smart. Uh, so yeah, it's missing a stone. So that'll go to a, a lot that's something that has definitely gotten me through this pandemic is stand-up comedy. <laughs> Him, Trevor, and Jim Gaffigan. Like I, I watched all their specials, you know. And then, um, have you have you read that? I mean, seen that bit? The Scott, yes, the Scotland bit, yes. <laughs> anyway, I can't do it. It's hilarious though. Um, oh, his book is so good. Uh, his book is called Born a Crime. If you have, and I did it on Audible, and he narrates it. And so good because he's born in South Africa um, and he's half and half. Such a good book. Anyway, very, very good. Uh, the bins were okay. Oh, seriously, Danny, we're all going in now. Now we're going to have three cats behind us. Just wait for the fun. He's gonna, You're going to knock over the treasure cam, Danny. Um, the bins were okay. We got there really early because I didn't want it to be crowded. And I was like, look. If there's a lot of people, like, we're not going to go when they rush over to new bins. We're going to just wait it out. And we didn't stay super long. And I spent a, less than $8. But I got a few things. I got a few things. So, okay. Eddie, oh, thanks, Rags. Eddie Borgo website has them as five ring fingers, not stacked. Weird. Okay. I wonder if there are some missing. No, they don't appear to be. Well, then again, if they were, how would we know? <laughs> right? Interesting. Okay, you want to see Danny? Okay, come here, Dan. Oh, you're about to see everything. This is Danny. He's the only one that'll be a lap cat, but he's a little more skittish of people. Hey, Dan, say hey. And this naughty boy has learned how to open doors. Um, some of our doors have just like the, the handle, like so. Oopsies, I hit the rotten, um, you know, and so he has figured out, like, oh, if I pull on that, I can open the door. So at night, he keeps trying to come in the bedroom. And I had to get one of those, like, the door, the thing you jam under the door, not to keep him from coming in, because it's very unnerving 
to wake up in the middle of the night to hear your door handle like rattling and then the door creaks open. And you're like, what the, what's coming in? Oh, it's just the cat. So <laughs> Danny, you naughty boy. Uh, okay, let me go back through the chat real fast and then I'll we'll talk about this ring. I've warned you in advance. Um, let's see. Really? Your missing stones lot sells the best. Did you like missing stones from like bracelets, necklaces, rings, just a bunch of stuff? Or do you do like all bracelets? I'm interested in learning. But I'm also like, well, this is good. If I put it in a lot, somebody else can make some money off it too. Let's see. Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Brick comes and mysteries have gotten you through. Yeah. Another one I like is comedians and cars getting coffee. That's a that's a nice one. Oh yeah. And and um Trevor Noah's accent, his he can do all the voices. It's so funny. Did they limit one person or family per bit? No. They didn't limit anything. And that's why after a bit, I was like, it's time for us to go. I was, it, it, we were there maybe 45 minutes. We weren't there very long at all. Uh, we got there like nine. And so we were, well, 9.30. We were out of there by 10.15 um, because it did start picking up. But the, it opens at eight. So I'm like, maybe we just need to get there really, really early. Um, because I was like very, mm, yeah, I didn't want to be close to other people. So, okay, next ring, jewelry, remember? Okay, <laughs> there we go. So this one looks like a little woven. I'm gonna pull it down into the treasure cam. Down the treasure cam, has a woven look to it. That's fun. So this one is a silver tone ring. I don't see any marks on it, but I think that somebody would definitely like that. That's got a nice band look. It's a wide, wide enough. Oh, I didn't do mandrel, mandrel, mandrel. Who's got the mandrel? If you've got the mandrel, then you are it. And it's me, again. It's about an eight and a quarter on that one. And I didn't do the Marc Jacobs ring either. You didn't. Let's just check all our rings. How would you size this ring? Okay, that, this is the question that I'm sure I'll get. So here we've got this ring. What size would I put on it? Because it looks like it spans between a seven and an eight. So I'd probably say, I would definitely tell, you know, have a picture of it on here you know, with all, maybe all three pieces. So they could see, look, it spans from a seven to an eight and say maybe the center of the ring is about a seven and a half. So that would be good to know. Yeah. You would say seven and a half because that's kind of where the center falls, the seven and a half. And then the Mark Jacobs. No, no, that's not Mark Jacobs. What was his name again? Orho, something or other. You are going to do all three. Boom, boom, boom. Chop, chop, chop. Again, I would, th I think they're all the same size. No, they're not. Because when I flip it over the other way, it's not the same size. So I would have each one and put like each ring. Because this one is a s almost, yeah, that one's a seven. This one is, it's a seven too. Oh boy. And that one is, wait, are they all sevens? <laughs> they were hitting a different note. That one's a six. Okay. So that would be good to know as well. Make sure you get all of the sizes on there. Which way is up on the ring? On this one? Whichever way you want, darling. <laughs> but I would definitely say in my description, like, please look at the picture of the ring because it spans this. Um... Okay, these are some earrings. Those are some earrings. That's a bracelet. That will probably go into a lot. Wow, we've been chatting a lot. I'm not moving very fast through this, are we? But I'm enjoying it. Shell, shell lot. Uh, we've got another brooch. Ooh, that one's pretty. I only saw this part of it, so I didn't see the purplies. Look it. I love it. It's got this purple, like, curve on the stem and then these gold tone leaves that's really pretty and no maker's mark but that's a seller i love it oh that's nice 
That's nice. The littles need our, our help right now because they're going through a lot too. Um, <clears throat> so here we've got another ring. This is like a pyramid. Look at that. You can do some damage with that one. This is a stretch ring, but I think that's a cool enough one. Somebody's going to really like that. And let's pull our mandrel out. On a stretch ring, I would just size it like where it naturally falls. So it falls at a size eight, but it is, you know, it can go down depending on how much you want to stretch it. But it is adjustable, stretchy. We're good. <laughs> that one's cool. Okay. That's an eye poker. There we go. Yeah, it's a statement read. <laughs> totally, totally. Okay, then, oh, that's an earring. So we're saving earrings to the side. And I have a box of earrings. Ooh. Hey. Hey there, lady. Okay, now. Is this another Marianne? I have a belt with her on it. Okay, and I did had to do a ton of research because I was like, this chick is awesome. I got a cool belt. like, And it had Republic of France, Republique Française. And then this woman on it, right? But in the... I think she's standing up and she's got like these like draped robes and whatnot. But I have a feeling this is going to be the same. I think it's, and her name was Marianne. And she was like a symbol of the French freedom. Yeah, I did have like a big bunch of research on her. So, and I think I actually have a video because I'm charging a lot for the belt. It's a really cool like Art Nouveau belt buckle. And it's really wide. I think they called it a nurse's belt. Uh, and I don't remember why now. But... Yeah, I think this is probably going to be another Marianne piece. Danny, not now, Dan. Okay, so this is pretty cool. And this is the back of the brooch, looks like so. So definitely, yeah. Yeah, I would Yeah, I would probably say 8 to 12, like whatever. whatever. I wouldn't want to stretch it all the way out because that would be uncomfortable. But like, you know, reasonably stretched yeah this is a nice piece oh i'm trying to i can't even think about what how much i would charge for that because it's super cool okay then we've got a plastic black ring that one kind of domes up over here and this black ring i'll probably sell it is about a five and a quarter boy leia's not budging for you boys today go girl Ooh, another cool ring. This one is rife with rings, y'all. So this one has got different bits of colored plastic. And then it's, I think it's a Marc Jacobs as well. Here we go. Boom. So we've got like a tortoise shell, a white, a green. I think that's a black or a navy. And then a blue. And then that is like a swirly blue. And then that, again, says Mark by Mark Jacobs. And inside, <laughs> who does that? Mark by Mark Jacobs. Hmm. <laughs> I guess it's like a, maybe he's got his Mark Jacobs line. And then for a little bit less is marked by Mark Jacobs. <laughs> All right. So that one is a pretty cool ring. I love the colors. So you could totally wear it like, today I'm feeling green or brown. Today I'm feeling, I love it. Okay, this is a seven and three quarters, almost an eight. It's kind of in the middle. You can see right through it. Cool. So right around there on the, on the size. Total. That is, that would drive me bananas. But some people love a, a chunky ring. I can't get my fingers together. My pinky is being left out in the cold. I'm cold. Let me in. Okay. Um, okay. Then, reaching down, trying to move it a little bit faster. Ooh, another ring. Look at, it's one of these ones. It's like a, it moves. It's articulated. Let's use our fancy jewelry loving words. It is articulated. And I feel like, Marilyn Manson, Trent Reznor, something. Head like a hole, black as your soul. <laughs> okay, so there. Isn't that fun? It is articulated, and I can give 2020 the curve. 
uh, on that finger. Cool. What do you think? Definitely a sellable piece. It does have a name on the back, which we are going to have to look in the treasure cam. Uh, I don't know that I would call that Grecian style. Like this one? Are you talking about this or are you talking about the Marianne piece? This one is more like hardcore. We're going to have to look it up. What would you call that? Eddie. Oh, it's another one by this guy. He likes his chains and weird jewelry. Eddie Borgo. So probably what I'll do is look it up because y'all were able to find the, the chainy ring. So maybe we'll find this one too. I would probably look up, you know, articulated rings, fing, full finger articulated rings and um, find out what other people are calling this because that's kind of what I would call it. It looks almost like a bug, a bug's exoskeleton, right? Uh, Mike, it depends on the finger. I got, I got 10 of them. I had to count just to make sure. But yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, look, there's a tag. I wonder what this one went with. Eddie, poor go. No price, but it's got a skew, so maybe I can use that to look up something or other. Cool. Oh, another, oh no, it's not a ring ring. This one is, Anybody know? So it looks like it's got two fingers clicking together, some little hearts. Do you know what you would put use for this for? Quiz time. Because this brooch has got, you know, this bar is up here, and then this part would come down here. And you could use this to hang your glasses on. I don't have my glasses up here. Boop. Hang your glasses on that. Cool. Um, no maker's mark on that one. Finger armor. Oh, you had a bunch as a teenager. <laughs> it's totally goth. Well, I guess I'm goth. Maybe other people wear it too. All right, then look at this one. This ring has got a really big plastic stone in it. It's huge. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's a fun one. Definitely going to sell that. It is not adjustable. It is a size six. Sweet. Yep, got kid. They didn't call it that when I was a kid. We had like punk, new wave, and then the kids that wore like all the black and stuff. They didn't call it goth yet. So that was, yeah, you were just new wave, a weirdo. Um, guess who I hung out with? <laughs> okay, that's a fun one. It looks like a little face or a teardrop with hair or that way. Oh, gosh, that way. Um, that's a fun ring. No, no marks. But that one is a size, it's about a size four and three quarters, four and a half, four and three quarters on that one. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I can use the finger on one object, totally. <laughs> yeah, right, and now it's emo, right? <laughs> Agreed. Pre-goth pre was mod, was it? But it's different, I don't know. Oh well, I think something different when I think mod. I think like British boys on Vespas and <laughs> wearing Fred Perry shirts and stuff like that. Um, Okay, this is a fun one. This ring looks copper. And when I think mod, I think, have you seen the movie Quandra, Quandrophenia? Quandrophenia? Quandrophenia. Um, okay, Eddie Borger, thanks for looking that up. Hinged plate shield, 40 to 50 bucks. Woo, I'll take it. Nice. Yeah, mod was more 60s. And then later the, yeah, anyway. Okay, then, so this looks like it's probably a piece of uh, lapis, because you can see the gold flakes in it. Yeah. It looks like a piece of lapis set into a copper ring, and it looks kind of like the Pope's hat. The Pope. Uh, um, anyway, that's fun. So this ring is a size about again six and a half six and three no six and a quarter or so then yeah that looks cool 
Well, there's a lot of rings in here. Fun. I think I've had this ring before. And that is a stretch ring. I, I feel like I've had one like this before with the chains going over the front of it. Isn't that lapis ring nice? It's over here somewhere. I set it down. Earring. I'm trying to move a little faster. Then we've got an, a ring that looks like this. It looks like one of those that would normally just have 10 for like the rosary, but it doesn't, it has more. I wonder if it's supposed to layer with that other one. Where'd it go? No, maybe not. That would, that would, I don't think that would layer together. But that would be uncomfortable as well, right? How do you wear that? I guess you just wear it. <laughs> to each his and her or her own. Wow, there are so many rings in the bottom of this. We've got another one of these spoon rings. Another one? One of these? Oh, but look, the silver tone is worn off the backside. Let's look down in the treasure cam. Hello. Okay. Oh, we see, I can see the, get my fingers out of the way. Looks like it says Oneida. Hang on. Yep, Oneida. So <clears throat> it's definitely like one of those spoon rings, but the silver tone is starting to rub off. Would you still try to sell that? What do you think? See? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Another little ring. This one is just a little. I feel like my camera is not focusing for y'all. There. Uh, it is about a seven and a half on that one. Ah, oh, you found a Rogers Brothers spoon bracelet in one of those bags this morning. Sweet. All right, so that one. Then we've got a mood ring, and this one says Aaron on it. And... I know, I'm like, there's so many rings down here. And I'm pulling out earrings too. I haven't matched up the earrings. Got one of these, double double rings. This will probably go to a lot, that's big. So, I know, like maybe, is that better? Maybe it's that, okay. That'll go to a lot. This one's nice. A little ring that's got a, that's probably a howlite pink howlite stone in it. And that is about a six and a quarter. As you can see from the back, I mean, it's probably just, it's just a cheapy ring, but it might be, somebody might like that. It's not fancy schmancy, but, ah, there are so many rings down here. I'm like, how much time do we have? I'm gonna have to flip through these real fast. Okay, then, oh, there was another one of these. Where'd it go? There it is. Look, I wonder if there's more in there. They match my nails. It's pink and kind of like yellow, yellowy, not quite lime green, yellowy. It's like chevron style. How would you wear it? Like that? Or would you want to wear it with the, I guess you wear it however you want, right? Okay, so there's no maker's mark inside. And that one is about a seven, seven and a half. These are fun. All right, digging in more. Wait, here's a brooch. Oh, that's a nice one. Here we go. Very open work, kind of Art Nouveau-ish. Hmm, there's another word for this. Uh, what's the name for this style? My brain, I can't think of what that's called. Oh, it's not Art Nouveau. What is it? I need help. I know if I saw it, one of y'all is going to pop up with the right name for it. And I will thank you if I can't, because I can't think of what it is. That's a Jerry's. Okay, cool. That's one I will definitely sell. Isn't it pretty? Oh, gosh, it's going to drive me nuts. Because there is a name for this style, too. Rococo. Debbie says, I feel like it's something else. It's not quite that. I feel like there's another... It's going to drive me nuts. Kind of like Baroque, maybe. Oh, she's pretty. So here's a little pin. First I thought she was an earring, but she's not. She is a JJ piece, Johnette jewelry. 
Yeah. I just need to put a little tack, a little, you know, tack back on that one. How many thumbs up do we have, friends? I see we have 196 friends watching. Okay, then we've got this ring. There's quite a few rings here. Oh my gosh, thanks for being here, you guys. That one doesn't have any maker's marks on the inside. Uh, it's magnetic, but it's still a fun ring. Looks like so. I don't know why my camera's being, like if I get right up to you, y'all can see it. It's being weird. Okay. This is a about eight and a half on that one. Very cool. I'm going to take a drink real fast. Look what I got. It's ginormous. It's a giant, giant water bottle. Because I'm trying to be better about drinking my water. A friend of mine had one of these at a park date. Quarantine. <sighs> No, I'm gonna have to look it up because it's not, nothing is sounding right. But it's like it's like if I heard it, I would know it, you know. Oh, 57 thumbs up. Only only oh, 200 friends are watching now. This is my 200 friends dance. I gotta up my game. This is not a very good 200 friends dance. I'll have to do like my Elaine dance. You can't imagine my legs. There. Okay. <laughs> so next we've got this ring it looks like the stone is missing maybe it's down in the bottom let me do the treasure cam because we've got words on side we've got words loving loving you okay well loving you back ring i'd be loving you more if you had the stone <laughs> no pressure okay i don't think that one i mean it looks like it's silver but i don't think it is there's no marks so that will probably go into a lot Oh yeah, I had this problem last night because I got this yesterday and then last night that may have been part of my insomnia. <laughs> I was having to use the bathroom constantly. Look, we spooked them. Nine people were like, ah, she caught me. And they bolted from the room. <laughs> okay, earrings, earrings. I'm putting you down here. Uh, then we've got this ring. It's a, a nut that's trying to be a ring. It's a hex a hexagon ring. Ah. I was Thelma in. I missed her. I gotta see. Did I miss her? Oh, there she is. Hello, Thelma. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Ah, I just noticed I put two different earrings on. <laughs> it was not on purpose. <gasps> did I really? I so did. How embarrassing. <laughs> I had I had these earrings in my thing over there like my catch and release and I just was like I did I came in here to do my video and I was like oh, I forgot to put on a hearing so I just grabbed some from over there <laughs> look I yeah I grabbed two different earrings how funny is that <laughs> you didn't notice I didn't either truly till you said that I was like oh let me show you what I got on they're totally two different earrings <laughs> I didn't either because like clearly I have a style but open work Kind of style. How funny. <laughs> All right. So this little ring, uh, I don't know if I'll sell it or not. It looks like some of the wear is missing on it, but maybe it's okay. It's about a size seven and a quarter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Then we've got this twisty gold chain. Let's see how we are doing on, okay. It's a cool looking chain. I mean, it's not gold gold. And I'd have to look up the name for this style of chain because they have names. And I can't think of this one off the top of my head. I think it's a nice chain. I'll probably still try to sell it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm trying to put all the earrings I find down here. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, it's missing some. So that's a pretty necklace, but it is missing some stones. And again, there there's some stones down at the bottom, so it might be in there. Five stones we're looking for. And this is, the hang tag on that is W-A. Is it just W-A? Yeah, looks like something's missing off the hang tag, though, but maybe not. 
I don't know that brand. Twisty gold chain, <laughs> yeah. Okay, then we've got this brooch. <laughs> Heather's just gonna bother Heather now, sorry. This one will probably go to a lot. As you can see, the faux pearl here looks all right, but this one, the finish has been pulled off of it. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, earrings. I'm digging down here for you. See if I can find any. Whoa. Okay. I'm ready for loose? I do. I want a big diamond and make it a great big one, Rhett. I want everyone who's been mean to be, be pea green with envy. Okay, so this is a this is a diamond fit for Scarlet. Um, anyway, this is a ginormous ring, <laughs> blingy ring, like so. Uh, no maker's marks. This would be one of those like random YouTube girl finds 15 karat diamond in Goodwill. <laughs> Goodwill box. And you could say, I knew her when. <laughs> All right, this is a magnetic blingy ring, and it is a size, I'll probably sell it, uh, seven and a half. Can you blind it by the light? <laughs> we hope that would take care of my garage door. <laughs> no more worries about that. I'll just get a whole new garage if you please. Um, some more earrings. Okay, here's another ring, another one that's geometric. However, it is bigger in the front than in the back. I think this is either unisex or a man's ring, or someone with larger fingers. Not necessarily a man, but someone with larger fingers. That is a size eleven and a half, if you please. All right, we're gonna plow through the rest. We have another spoon ring. That one the wear is not quite as rubbed off. It's a little bit. Oh, you found gorgeous diamond earrings. Sweet. <laughs> Random, yeah, that's me. Random YouTube girl. <laughs> that would be the headline. Random YouTube girl finds diamond. <laughs> Never seen from again. Ran off to the south of France. I don't know. All right, size six and a quarter, six and a half ish. All right, the cats are exiting. <clears throat> then <laughs> I would totally I would lose it in the ocean. Yeah. All right, this is a fun ring. Uh, it's got this white stone. I feel like I, one of the other rings was kind of like this. What did I do with it? I was missing a stone. All right, so that's a fun one. I mean, how do you, I guess you just size it like you size any other ring, because it's, it only goes down so far. So it's about a size six and a quarter. That's a fun one. I think somebody would like that. <laughs> you wouldn't go to France. I don't know if I'd go to France or not. I'm just, all right, I'm going to kind of dump this, well, not all the way out, but what else? There's, there's a lot of solo earrings here. I'm trying to see if there's anything else you would want to see. Solo earring, solo earring. Uh, yeah, most of it in the bottom are solo earrings. And there's a couple of other little brooches, like so. Ta-da! Oh, nice, yeah. I mean, that ruby ring I found is pretty nice. I have to take it to get it appraised, though, because I don't want to sell it and then find out it was worth, like, way more. Oh, that's an interesting little ring. I don't know why my camera's doing that today. Because it's my computer, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. I believe I found, oh, a Palladium Man's ring in your last. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, I totally fixed my garage door. I wouldn't do anything fancy. My kids ask me that sometimes. Like, what would you do if you, like, won the lottery? I'm like, I would pay off my house, my car, my debt. I would have no debt. I would have money in the bank. The end. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> so boring. Wouldn't you buy a Bugatti Chiron, Mom? No, I would not buy a Bugatti Chiron. I would not. <laughs> I don't want a fancy car. I have a van, and I'm happy with it. I like my van. 
You can fit all the stuff in it that I want to fit in it. I'm looking to see if there's anything else. Like, hmm. Face. What do you think the other puzzle pieces said? Face. Body. Nose. All right. I guess I'm going to call it there because most of the other stuff in here is just like solo earrings and like bits of solo earrings and all. That's the only downside of not doing camera down because now it's like, well, I'll have a solo earrings I'll have to show later, I guess. I need to wash my hands. Um, put it in the bank. Yeah. Put it in the bank and live off the interest. There we go. I would not blow it. That's for sure. There's some fun earrings. Hopefully the mate, I have a box over here of solo earrings and I said, wait, cause sometimes I find the mates in other boxes that I've gotten. All right, my friends, I will probably maybe be back tomorrow. <laughs> I have a couple of Goodwill hauls that I've done and I got a few things from the bins today. I have a, a you know, remember last time we did like the ride along live and we just watched it and talked about it as we went because my mic's blown so i can't record over do voiceovers for that right now um but soon i will be able to and yeah so we're gonna do one of those coming up real soon so if you haven't yet go and then click the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when i put out new videos and follow me on instagram and facebook i'm trying to do better about sharing stuff so you can see like me being sad or me running into the garage or whatever. I don't know if you care. So you don't feel like, oh, I ran into the garage and I'm all alone. No, that's just me. Okay. All right. I need to go switch earrings so I don't drive anybody else crazy. But I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye, everybody.